Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becky for those of you who are new here and thank you so much for joining me today. I wanted to share with you guys what I keep inside of my keepsake box. So this is my keepsake box. It's just a simple Sterilite container that I've had for a very long time. I got this back in 2006. It is still keeping strong. It is very sturdy. It has not gotten damaged. It's a little bit dusty. I need to clean it off. But it has been holding all of my keepsakes since 2006. So it's lasted me a very long time. And I wanted to open it up for you guys and show you what's inside. What I like about this container is that it has a little lock on it so that nothing falls out. And it keeps all the dust off of my keepsakes. And it has this nice little handle that just makes it easy to transport it if I want to move it to a different room or if I just want to take it down from the closet shelf it just makes it super easy to be able to handle it so I'm going to open it up and show you guys what I have inside this is what's inside of my keepsake box I have a the tail of Peter Rabbit that used to be my aunt's when she was younger and it's just a Peter Rabbit book it's very old you can see it's kind of gotten beat up as most books do when they are owned by children <laughs> so I have that in there that I just kept I thought it was really cute and I just wanted to keep it and this book is a my book of prayers that my dad actually had made for me when I was a little girl that's what it looks like it's just a personalized storybook so my dad had this made for me when I was nine years old and for those of you who do not know my dad actually passed away two years ago from cancer and so it just meant a lot to me to keep some of the stuff that I still had um, that he gave me from when I was just a little girl and it just means a lot to me to have these things to be able to look back on just to remember him and just remember the happy times that we had together. So this book is very, very special to me and I've had it since I was nine years old. And I used to be obsessed with Barbies when I was younger and I kept some of the Barbies that, um, that my dad got me when I was a young girl. So I have, <laughs> I have the whole set. I think these were the, the high school Barbies. They had like a whole little high school theme going on. So they came, actually came with their own backpacks and school supplies, which I thought was really cute. But I mean, I really, really took care of my Barbies. They still have all their clothes and accessories in their hair. The hair is still looking good. So I took really good care of my dolls. I also have a Esmeralda doll from the Hunchback of Notre Dame that my aunt got me when I was younger and I still have her as well and I never got rid of her. This one never came with shoes so she just was always barefoot all the time. This is just a little music ceramic box that uh, my dad also got me when I was younger and it plays music and I just never got rid of it. It just means a lot to me because he gave it to me and it's still in really good condition. So that's what it plays. And I also have my tassel for my hat and my little medal that I wore when I graduated from high school and that is still in really good condition. I just kept it in a little bag and I stored it in here as well. And in here I have in this little parchment paper I just have my dad's old reading glasses that I keep in here as well. And last but not least, I have my children's old little baby shoes. So these belong to my oldest son. And um, my middle child also wore these shoes. They're just little doggy shoes. And I just kept like one thing from each of my kids when they were babies. These are my daughter's little booties that my mother-in-law got her. And her little hat. that I really love this hat. And this little bonnet actually used to be mine when I was a newborn and I actually have a picture of me wearing this outfit so this is my other keepsake box and you can see it's just large photos letters 
And then in here are my old birthday cards from my dad or my mom or just letters that I wrote. And I just have these like larger pictures of me and my dad before he passed away. This was years ago. I got this from like Chuck E. Cheese. They have like these little photo booths you can go in and it prints out the picture as soon as you take it. So it's just on like really thin paper and I just uh, stored it in here. And that's me and my dad. So that's all that I have in this box. So that's all protected in there. And occasionally I do like to go through and look at all these things. And just like I said, just remember my dad and all the good times that we had together. And, and also where I store old letters and birthday cards. And I do occasionally like to go back and look at those and read them. So that's how I store those keepsakes. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful and hopefully you found a few tips and ideas in there for storing your keepsakes, old birthday cards or old letters that you have saved over the years. So this method of organizing and storing my keepsakes has really preserved the life of them and like I said I do like to occasionally go through them and just reminisce on good times that I've had over the years. I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Bye!